Greetings, hello and welcome. My name is Stryker Torsti and I'm here to show you a game I've been working on. So let's get cracking. Okay, this is a very early stage game. Be warned, there's gonna be bugs probably. Hopefully not. With my luck, I highly doubt it. Uh, so this is gonna be a first person shooter game. So let's get started and pick a few weapons. At the start we have two rifles. Hopefully by the end of the pre-alpha I have around 50 and a few vehicles and a big map and a few game modes <laughs> okay this is a mas 4956 rifle which i renamed to mpbr46 and this is an ak47 which i renamed to ak46 the game is going to be focused around alternate history and i won't tell you much more because i'll spoil it <laughs> The style of the game, the stylized graphics of the game, looks in backwards into video game history for more pixelated and low poly weapons, although I'm going to compensate for that with uh, more fun gameplay. In the aspect that it, you just want to look at the weapon and just pick it up and shoot it, like this. I'll post a link down in the description below for more model weapons that are not shown in this video, including a laser rifle, I believe, and a quadruple shotgun and a big revolver and a few things. There are ma many more guns planned, so let's get a couple of attachments. Okay, so this is a shooting range, just for testing the guns. There's bullet drop, obviously. What would be a game without bullet drop? Now this gun has red tracers. If we switch to the AK, it has Russian tracers, uh, phosphorus, green phosphorus tracers, yeah. Okay, let's hit a few targets. Oh, hit a couple of targets with 10 rounds. Fascinating. Okay, let's install an attachment. An ACOG, for example. There we go. And let's use this sight. This is handy when you're in a building or something. Let's see. As you can see, a bug right there. The hand went through the sky, the scope. I should make the guy reload, uh, chamber the the round behind, uh, below the gun. Okay, so let's remove this and put it on the AK. Let's fire the AK with it. Okay, let's put the ACOG in there. Actually, it helps a lot. <laughs> okay. So, for those who like a little bit more realism, I added the option to put the realistic mode on. Those who played games like Insurgency will feel right at home with this game mode. It's very similar. The weapon behaves in a very similar manner. There we go. And let's switch back to arcade. This uh, this is mostly dependent on the server, which server you're playing on, if it has arcade or this. Let's put a scope on the rifle and try to hit the furthest targets. This is a stronger scope. You can zoom in and zoom out, depending on the zoom levels, the minimum and maximum of the scope. So let's around that, I believe. Oh, I missed. Aye. There we go. Okay, so on the multiplayer wise, the, the hit detection is completely dependent on the client, so you can have lots of miniguns firing at the same time, and that's, the, that's why I, I made this ballistic system, uh, because that way it won't depend on the server. I, there might be some uh, cons and pros to that, but it's basically focused on the visual aspect of it. I just want to see lots and lots of tracers flying all over the place. I want to put the player in such a mayhem that it will be fun to play. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's it for now. Uh, next video I'll show a few new things I added. Uh, this I can be, guess can be considered the first official devlog for the game Crimson Prime, which is the name of the game. And I hope you enjoyed this. Any opinions you have, good or bad, just feel free to comment below. Take care folks, and thanks for watching.